Welcome back to Supers Live. Sorry about the break there. We're having some troubles. Man, I'll tell you, Windows 10 has just not been very fun lately uh, when it comes to broadcasting and updates and messing up with sound and all kinds of silly stuff. But uh, hey, you know what? In the big scheme of things, if you got to wait a little bit, it ain't a bad thing. Uh, we appreciate those of you that are here with us tonight for this first feature. And we're going to give you the starting lineup right now. Starting on the poll former winner of the wing set up twin 25s in fact a winged winner of this race back in 2009 when it was a nascar heat race from Carrollton, ohio it's keith put one on your pal in the cpr motorsports icings on top machine next to him your 2020 supers goldcrest non-wing rookie of the year from shelby township michigan in the mall pistons uh, Plante Buran Tax Service number 27. It's Eric Becker. Inside row number two, the driver has more wins than any other driver. The wing side of Twin 25, six to be exact. Ladies and gentlemen from Pulaski, New York, it's Rocket Rob Warren. Warren in the 35. Outside Warren in the Simability number 13, red and yellow machine. It's Ryan Clunan. Clunan, a rookie this year, leading the rookie points, as a matter of fact. Inside row number three, a Supers rookie of the year last year in the wing division from Elyria, Ohio, in the Midwest Super Bonafide Series, black number 22. It's Zach Sears. Sears in that 22. Keep your eyes on him. And right next to him, second quick here tonight from Liverpool, New York, in the Chasing Cameras, Southern Hill Store and football team number three, it's Brad Keezer. Now to row number four on the inside, your new track record holder with a time of 11 one, six, one, or 166, ladies and gentlemen, from Union, Connecticut, looking for his third straight Supers win in a row in the TMS Wolfpack number 11. It's Dave O. Speedy Man starts seventh, starting in eighth position here tonight, driving the B&G Racing Photos number 25. It's Bob Gangwer. Now to your heat race drivers who didn't make it into the Elite Eight. Starting inside row number five, he hails from Goshen, Indiana, the Smoky Bones Down Home Kitchen 08. It's Danny Ray. Next to him, another heat race winner from Brook Park, Ohio, with the American Heart Association number 14. It's Bobby Hayduck. Row number six looks like this on the inside, running for Rookie of the Year from Hagersville, Ontario, Canada, and Apple Auto Parts 17. John Held, and next to him, a former Rookie of the Year from Stoneham, Massachusetts. It's Nelson Rodriguez. Rodriguez in that red number seven. Inside row number seven. Driving the number 56, shoe racing, gooby beer machine, orange and white and black car. It's a really pretty race car. Ladies and gentlemen from Chisago City, Minnesota, it's Dick Schuler. Next to him from Wyoming, Michigan in the number 10. Kennewado Supply Michigan Hill Gang machine. It's Gary Waldron, the very first Wing set up Twin 25's winner in 2004. Inside row number eight from Lansing, Michigan. He drives a Docker Titanium Roadster sponsored by Wholesale Diamond Exchange, Carl Bonsai Becker. Next to Becker in 16th starting position from Cicero, New York. It's Stephen Vincent. Stephen Vincent in the number 28. And rounding out the field, a rookie here tonight, making his first superstar from Brandenburg, Kentucky. It's Michael Scott, sponsored by Robert Pike Construction. That's your starting lineup for the first 25-lap feature here at the Wing Side Up Twin 25, 17th annual version at Bristol Motor Speedway for the Wing Super Modifieds. Powell and Becker on the front row. Ohio and Michigan represented there. Row number two is a New York row with Rob Warren and Ryan Clunan. including in that red and yellow car. Keep your eyes on him very fast during Sunday night testing, Tim. Row number three, Zach Sears, the rookie, with his mentor, Brad Keezer, on the outside. Row number four, final row, your Elite Eight qualifiers, Dave O. Looking for his third win in a row in the black number 11. Bob Gang were in the black and white number 25. This is Danny Ray in the green 08. Bob Hayduck in the white 14. John Held, Nelson Rodriguez. The Dick Schuler, Gary Waldrick, Carl Becker, Stephen Vincent, Michael Scott. Here they come off of turn number four. Green flag flies. Hang on. Here we go. We're racing at Bristol. Powell goes to the lead. 
Becker drops back to third. Dave O working to get around Ryan Cloonan. Good action there in the top five. Clooney gets loose. O goes to the outside. Warren goes around in a lead. Kieser goes into second. Look at the battle for third place right now. Hot and heavy here. Bro, oh, Zach Sears goes around. Eric Becker goes around. We've got a huge pile up. Sears loses control. And chain reaction. Everybody involved there. Wow, a big pile up as Zach Sears gets loose, running in the top five. Man, wow, a lot of cars involved. This is going to take a little while to sort out. Hang loose, folks. Looks like Eric Becker getting turned by the 13 of Ryan Cloonan. So Becker will go to the back.
Well, looks like it might be all sorted out. Here we go. And uh, drivers are going again. So a lot of action. Brad Keezer into the lead. Dave O into second. Whole lot of laps under caution. 20 to go here at Bristol. Caution flag. Oh, a big one, a big one. The 56 spins, the 08 involved, the 42 involved, the 14 involved. Nowhere to go. Dick Schuler gets around, collects the field. Another big one here at Bristol. Get me up in that channel, will you? Oh my goodness, a big, big one. Looking at the replay here, the 56 gets uh, sideways. Oh, and Michael Scott gets into the 56 and spins the 56. Danny Ray involved. And the 66 involved in that. And a dive bombs underneath Schuler gets him loose. Oh my gosh. So Well, another big pileup. So trying to get guys in order.
Well, white flag's out. We'll see what happens this time now as uh, the guys get sorted out. A couple guys getting a couple penalties on them. And uh, they are only allowed two here in the feature. Third strike, they are out. Here we go. Get ready, folks. We told you there was going to be some fireworks tonight. It sure is happening. Already. Brad Keezer, Keith Powell. In fourth, green flag's back out here at Bristol. Let's see how many laps we can get in tonight after this restart. Dave O right on Brad Keiser's rear nerf bar. Pulling away from Rob Ward who's running third. Coming up on lap traffic, hang on. Action at the back of the pack, Zach Sears. Zach Sears goes around. Again, Sears around. And Becker and gang were involved as well as they were racing, trying to get by. Zach Sears sitting sideways in the middle of the field. So Sears around, gang where it gets collected as Becker uh, him had a hard good race going trying to move up through the field. Gang will go to the back. Sears out of this one. With 12 laps to go. We're at the halfway point just now. Can you believe it?
Green flags back out. I'm done. I spun on my own. Yeah, I try not to run over my father in law. But they just they're out of control. Forty two, tight it up to the twenties. Fourteen twenty five out of the race, Dave. Oh, with the lead. Green flag flies, Dave O. Brad Keezer take off. Rob Warren lays back a little. Here comes Ryan Clunin battling with Keith Powell. Clunin goes by now. Clunin into fourth position. Powell drops to fifth. Clunin goes to work on Powell or uh, Warren now. Steven Vincent running six. John held seventh. Look out, Rob Warren, the all time winner here in the wing side of 25s. He's got pressure from the rookie, Ryan Clunin, looking for a podium here. And Clunin looks to the outside, switches back across, can't get it done. Uh, hey, Red Keezer goes back and yellow flag, yellow flag out on the racetrack. And looking to see where that was. It looks like the number eight of Michael Scott. Michael Scott goes around. Looks like the 10 around as well with rookie Michael Scott. And we're looking to see Gary Waldron has gone around and nowhere to go for Michael Scott. So... And big damage on both the 10 and the 66.
And Eric Becker going to the back, as well as 66 of Scott involved. And wow, a lot of damage on these super modifieds out here tonight. And what a battle was going on up front now with four laps to go. Watch this restart with Dave O on Brad Keezer's rear nerf bar as well as Warren. Here we go. Green flags out. Hang on. Ryan Cloonan goes to work right away on Rob Warren. And Warren gets a good start. Dave O gets loose, hits the wall. He's got damage on the right side nerf bar. Let's see if he can overcome that with two to go. Gathers it up. He's coming back. Look out. It's going to be a shootout to the line. Dave O, Brad Keezer, Rob Ward, Ryan Clune. One, two, three, four. Clunin gets loose. He saves it, though. Here comes O. O's looking to get Keezer down to the white flag lap. Rob Warren gets into the battle now. All kinds of cautions, but what a race to the finish. Here we go, folks. It's a shootout. Turn number four, Brad Keezer, and O gets loose. O gets loose at the line. Oh, we'll let the scores figure that one out. Looks like Keezer, then Warren, then O. Clunin comes home fourth. Powell fifth. Vincent sixth. John held seventh. Danny Ray comes home in eighth. Eric Becker ninth. Gary Waldron tenth. And now we're not sure. We'll have to get the final results. Wow. Uh, all kinds of problems there as Gary Waldron drops to the back. Eric Becker, Michael Scott in his first. Supers feature ends up in 10th, Dick Schuler, then Carl Becker, Gary Waldron, Bob Hayduck, and Brad Keezer wins here at Bristol, wins the wing portion of the event here tonight at Bristol. Congratulations to him.